take her home and you'll feel better Keep telling me that it gets better Does it ever What's up guys, Brittany J here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Beauty Blender. It got really dirty. <laughs> the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So I'm gonna be deciding whether I think that this foundation is a snatch or a scratch. The foundation retails for $40 and they have it described as a full coverage foundation. It says it's good for pretty much every skin type with a matte finish. Their description calls it a weightless liquid whip foundation with a multi-dimensional velveteen matte finish that wears for up to 24 hours. So we have another 24 hour claiming foundation. I'm not gonna be testing it that long, so I won't be able to get back to you on that, but I will be testing it for the whole day and seeing how it holds up. I'm in the dry, dry, dry heat. I don't have humidity here, so I think that weighs in to the fact that foundations last most of the day for me. My oils start to to come back through naturally but i don't have the added problem of humidity fucking up my face on their description it claims with a bare skin feel yet completely full coverage this revolutionary weightless whipped liquid glides and bounces easily so it never looks cakey or fake no matter how little or how much you layer on so you'll see during this video what i think and what my thoughts are if you're new here please go ahead and hit subscribe so you can join the fam bam with resting brit face and without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so this is what it looks like here. It's in this little square, I guess, shaped container. And then on this side, it's got the little egg shape so you can put your beauty blender there and just pump directly on it, which my beauty blender happens to be, ew. Dirty as fuck, first of all. And second of all, it is an Eco Tools, not an actual beauty blender because I'm poor, so. We're gonna use this, but I grabbed the shade 3.55 and I'm just gonna give you a little warning. It's way too light for me i'm gonna have to exchange this it's like two to three shades too light it might work in the winter but we're gonna make it work we're just gonna be extra bronze and overkill the bronze and just show you how to do casper chic today okay i'm gonna start by spraying my face with my prep and prime by mac i actually normally use my smashbox but one of my heathen children has moved it so we're gonna go with this today i'm not sure primer even does much anyways but this is feeling nice and tacky so it should work fine i'm scared to see how light this looks on camera because in person whew, it's very light like i mean it doesn't look that bad but we'll see because my face seems like it's a little darker i don't know it's not that bad we'll make it work i have a lot of like redness and bumps on the side of my face so if it can cover that i'd say it's pretty full coverage i mean obviously you're gonna see the texture but it looks like it's covering the redness pretty well. My skin tone is so like uneven and blotchy and red. So if I can get one even tone going on, it's a winner in my book. I also have little acne coming in on that side too. So I wouldn't necessarily call this full coverage. I would say more like medium. I may do a second layer because I just feel like I definitely have more full coverage. It's nowhere near as UA. It's not even like my NARS. So I might do a second layer, but I mean, it looks pretty good. And the shade is actually not that bad. I don't know why I thought it was like way lighter than that. I may actually just keep this one. It's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's already taken me like four pumps to do this. Keep in mind, the Beauty Blender sponge may not absorb as much as this one, and that's what they want you to use with that, so that may not be a good indication, but typically, even on this sponge, it only takes me like three pumps to have super full coverage, so. One layer, complete. I'm gonna do another one, though. So here it is with two layers. I have already seen some creasing happening here in my nose. I'm trying to fix that, but it's kind of not fixing. Yeah, it's creasing in my nose and not digging that on both sides even. I just tried to like add some more and we're still getting some creasing, but yeah. You can still see a lot of my texture, which like I said before, not a lot of foundations are gonna cover texture more so than color, discoloration, but they still usually help. And I don't know, I just feel like 
this one's just okay. For the price, not sure it's like spectacular, but I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup and see if that makes it any better. Did anybody do anything fun this weekend? By the time this comes out, it should be the weekend, so. Tell me what you did and let me live through you. The only thing fun that I can say I did was spend the weekend without kids. That's always a blast, because I swear to God, my children are wild. Does anybody watch Mission Impossible? And did you guys see the new one? We just saw it and I thought it was really good. Granted, I just started watching all of the Mission Impossible movies this year because I am an uncultured twit apparently, but I thought it was pretty good, the new one, after just having seen all of them like within the last month for the first time. Obviously the full coverage of the shape tape is probably going to assist in what I feel like was left out of this foundation. Like I really don't see this as full coverage, but I don't even know if they claim to be full coverage. They may claim to be medium. I haven't even looked. I should do that. Ah oh, shit, it's probably on the box. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up on my phone in just a sec because I wanna know what they claim it to be. looking crazy right now. Does anybody else have a favorite type of foundation? My skin is like combo to dry and mainly dry. And I really, really love that NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. I think it's got like a super long name. Natural Radiant Longwear. I think it's so good for something so lightweight when I put it on. Like I don't feel a ton of foundation on my face. However, it's so full coverage anyways. So that one's definitely my favorite right now. All right, and then I'm going to set everything in place with powder. So I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder, which is what I always use, and I'm gonna set my face in place with that. Let's see how the two interact. I love this powder because it has such a good brightening effect. And for the price, you just can't beat it. I also just ordered the new NYX foundation, the one with Alyssa Ashley. Can't remember what it's called off the top of my head right now, but I'm really excited for that to come in and test that one out too, because I mean, damn, 45 shades, girl. They weren't coming to play. They were not playing games. I like my face to be like incredibly matte, like very, very, very matte. Cause like I said, I'm dry, but I also get a little bit oily in my T-zone. So matte and that the fuck up. get some bronzer. I really thought this foundation shade was like way too light for me when I first tried it on, so I'm not sure why it's like perfect now. Like I really think it's a good match. I'm gonna be taking my MAC and Patrick Star Take Me Home blush duo. Looks like that. And pinkening up these cheeks. So with the full face nearly all complete, I'm not mad at it. I think it looks good once I powdered it and everything is set in place, it's not bad. What should I do for highlight? I think I'm gonna grab the Moonchild palette and I'm gonna take the shade Pink Heart. I'm feeling pink vibes today. I'm gonna put that on my cheeks, nose, you know the drill. Oh yeah, that's super pink, but I love it. Man, I forgot how good the Moonchild palette is. Whoa. So now that my base is complete, I actually don't hate this. I think it looks good. I'm not sure my final thoughts yet. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face, do my eyes, my eyebrows, everything like that. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts because by then it should have set for like 40 more minutes. So I'll let you know what I think as I go. But yes, I like it so far. I think the shade works well. I think it's got enough coverage. I did take two layers, so take that with a grain of salt, but I don't think it looks half bad, so I'll be back with my final thoughts after I finish the rest of my makeup. 
So this is the final look using the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So after putting my whole makeup together and letting it set in, I actually don't dislike it at all. Like I said, I'm more of a full coverage person. Um, I don't really like medium, buildable, stuff like that. I like it to be full coverage from the beginning. So I wish it was more full coverage, but when you put on two layers, it works great. And I really do like it. I really think that it was good. And also the big controversy was over the shade range, but if you actually look at the website and look at Sephora, there actually is a decent shade range. It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So I'm not mad about that part anymore. So with that being said, is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation a snatch or a scratch? I'm gonna say it's a snatch. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's, I wanna say $40 and I don't have any issues with it. I don't think it's bad. Now do I think that there's other foundations that are around the same price that I like a little bit better? Yes, but that's not to say that this is bad by any means. And everybody's skin type is different. Everybody's skin reacts differently. So you may have a totally different experience than what I had. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. If you like what you see, please go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below what your favorite foundation is. If you're new here, go ahead and please hit subscribe as well as that little notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle is just BJ Makeup, spelled out like this because who doesn't like a good BJ? It's been a while since I said that, so I had to throw that in there. But anyways, until next time, bye guys.